Hi guys, welcome to our channel and we are here to do unboxing of a mechanical keyboard made by Daryu. The model number is EK815S and this is lent to me by my friend to do unboxing. So let's start by opening this box. So my friend Andrew lent this to me. He's a gamer. I am not. So let's see. I can feel that this is a high quality keyboard. And the texture hard plastic and you can see here it's a USB and what's inside is a small tool to remove the each button and a user manual so let's see what's in the spec first so here um, the parameters or that's what it says here standard full-size 104 keys keycap ABS double shot uh, switch lifespan is 50 million clicks key conflict and key rollover power consumption is less than or equal to 10 milliampere uh, that's during backlight off and uh, less than or equal to 200 milliampere max so the weight is 860 grams and then the dimension is 445 by 140 by 33 millimeters compatibility is Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, and later braided wire USB switch is Daryu switch. So this is braided by Daryu. You can see this is removable. Supply voltage is 4.5 volts to 5.25 volts. And backlight is rainbow backlight and RGB on both sides. Alright. So to use this tool, especially in the tight spot, just press it like this. And you will hear the click and see then you can pull it out and then to put it back of course you can always use your finger okay that's how it sound um, I don't have a PC but let's try if this one will work on a MacBook so let's, I have here my MacBook and my my dongle for the USB port I mean for the USB connection let's first insert this one here and then insert in my USB dongle and then oh so it says here key, keyboard setup assistance so I think it will work and then just press to continue and then it is showing that there's a light and maybe you cannot see it but it's it's working and then so it says here in the setup is ide identifying your your keyboards so press the key immediately to the right of the shift key on the left side of the keyboard so shift key again I guess I pressed the wrong button here so it says um select the keyboard type if you don't know your keyboards type contact the manufacturer of your keyboard and ask them to identify the type so what I have here is there's an option here is this uh, Japanese North America Europe so I will choose North America and done all right so let's create a new note and then let's see how it works yep it's working I guess it, even if it says it works on uh, on compatibilities is Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, and later. It still works here in my MacBook Air 2019. So I assume this works on all the MacBook, or maybe not, but at least it's working on my key on my MacBook. So let's try one more time. Um, the, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog 
Okay. I guess <laughs> I'm not used to this um, keyboard type. It's way too high than what I'm used to here in my Mac MacBook. And both are still working. So maybe if you want to use two arrow key or do something else, you can use both. But of course, this is for gaming. Okay, let's see what's the component. And here, this is not a detachable wire. And there's a slot here that you can redirect the cable. See? If you want it here in the side, I mean, yeah. Put it here, and if you want it in the middle, you can always insert it like that. And also the, at, at the end, or on the left side of the keyboard. And there's a rubber non-slip rubber here and then like this one will raise the keyboard higher of course for the ergonomic purpose the keyboard is a bit higher rather than like here so relieve some stress on your wrist okay oops Let's try again. One more. Uh, here. In the note. In my notes. So, backspace. I don't know how much is that. I use some of the lives one of your keyboards. Sorry, Andrew. It's not 50 million anymore. So anyway, if that's break, uh, I guess of oh, there, there you have a spare part that you can have to replace your keyboard button uh, maybe if I'm a full-blooded gamer I will see the benefit of a mechanical keyboard uh, yeah maybe just the responsiveness it helps in the gaming yep and you know that you press the button if you hear it the click sound is nice and the response since this is a cable keyboard I think there's no lag whatever you press here it will appear in your monitor I mean it will happen in your your computer so complete it as a keypad here um, arrow keys Enter, Alt, Shift, Window button, Home. So, I think they also are selling a wireless one. And you can buy this in Amazon. If you're playing or using this in the dark, this uh, lighted keyboard is very much helpful. Especially if you don't know the orientation of your finger. But, yeah, if you're used to actually using the keyboard, you know that F and J have this, this textured button here so that you know that your finger is in the letter F and you know what's next. And same thing here, the number pad. If your finger is in here in the middle, the number 5, um, you know that you're, you're pressing the right number. The main concern for me now is the durability of this keyboard which will be proven after your 50 million clicks or in this case less than 50 million clicks because I've used it already. Uh, for the backlight customization let's check the owner's manual. Um, there's a backlight switch here you can press FN FN and F6 for wave Number one is wave and number two is cross. So FN and F6. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, I will show you. See? If I will press the FN and F6. Alright. So next is F7. FN, function key. And F7 Okay 
with the F7 every time you press the button the lights comes out it's like a waveform what else running so Fn and F I mean function and F8 hmm what's going on that's what happened it's it's like it's running so the movement of the light is running from left to right it's moving that way and then there's function plus f9 key button so every time you press the button it lights up and then one more f9 is dispersal then fade so on with the fade everything is on but every time you press the button the light turns off see you can see that and then there's breathe f9 and function f10 breathe so yeah there's a lot of keyboard uh, backlight switch um, there's a lot of effects rgb on both sides so on this side it can also be customized this uh, lighting on both sides so pressing the fn and home and the uh, home button yep here fn uh, home no, yeah see switch color so fn and end i guess it's changing to different colors from orange what's this purple and then speed up and slow down so you can use insert or delete So that's the speed of changing colors. So basically, uh, this button here, the home, the end, insert or delete. This is the button for the side RGB colors, I mean lightings. Press the function and choose here. If you want to customize this, check the user manual on how to do it. That's it for the unboxing of this mechanical keyboard made by Daryu. And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.